Hello, hello, my name is Chris Callahan, and I'm a children's author and I would like to say a lovely big hello to everybody in the Abdullah bin Oteba school. I hope I said that right. Abdullah bin Oteba. Yes, in Abu Dhabi, which is fantastic because I am here in London, in England. And uh, we've been having a, a very, very cold, snowy kind of few days. Um, lots of snow, but it's been very good. Yes, I'm assuming that um, you haven't had too much snow out there. I, I gather it isn't the kind of place that has too much snow. Um, but uh, but it, it's a very English thing to start a conversation by talking about the weather. So excuse me. So anyway, I am a children's author and I have written... A number of stories and I enjoy stories I enjoy talking about stories I enjoy writing stories but when I was your age I didn't always enjoy reading stories I really kind of struggled a little bit with stories and um, you know it was um it was it was a struggle trying to find the right kind of stories and um, so I've, I talk a lot about this and this is why Mrs Costello has invited me to say hello to you because she was watching me doing something on the web talking about my my uh, my my childhood um you know not reading very much or it was very nice of Mrs Costello to say would you like to come to come along and talk to my pupils so here I am so yes yeah, so so um, I've just written a, a, a good few stories called Shinoi and the Chaos Crew. Now these are, there's, good, there's 24 of these stories, although some of them have been written by a good friend of mine called Zoe Clark, who's written some fantastic stories. And they've got fantastic illustrations, look at them, by a, a wonderful illustrator called Amit Tial. So it's been wonderful working with these people, writing these stories. And we're trying to make these stories as exciting as possible to get young people engaged with stories to love reading stories especially those who maybe don't often read those kind of stories and these are about a, a young boy called Shinoi and he has a he has a, a favorite tv program called the chaos crew and he has a, an app on his phone um and this app has a bit of a glitch and it causes whenever he presses it he causes the chaos crew to appear in his world and he has these wacky crazy adventures with his heroes from his tv show so i just thought when i was writing these stories i thought wouldn't that be a good idea so if you've got a favorite tv program or a you know a favorite film star or character you know wouldn't it be great to have a, a, an app on your phone and you could press that app and your favorite tv characters would appear in your house and you could rush off and have some crazy adventures with them so that's what these stories are full of lots of wacky silly hopefully a bit funny adventures in there as well eh? and there's some there's some more coming out later on this year as well some graphic novels some comics it's been a lot of fun writing these crazy crazy stories but before that, I, I wrote my very first book it was a book called The Great Chocoplot. Now, this has been called various, uh, various names as it's gone across the world. Um, but, but in the UK and in a few places, it's called The Great Chocoplot. Now, this is a story about chocolate. Now, I wonder how many of you like chocolate. I bet there's probably a few of you. Yes, there's not, there's not many people who don't like chocolate. But I'll read out the very first line of this and it gives you a good idea about what this story is about. It starts off with, in six days, there will be no more chocolate in the world ever. I know, I know, I'm, I'm sorry about that. On top of everything else that's happening. Yes, imagine that. Imagine in six days, there's going to be no chocolate. Well, this was this is what my story is about. It's about the world going a little bit crazy as they as the as the as they get closer to something called the choc apocalypse, the end of chocolate. So you've got to think, what would you do if you found out that in six days' time there's going to be no more chocolate? Would you store up a lot of chocolate? Would you just eat a lot of chocolate? How much chocolate do you think you could fit in your mouth at one go? Probably quite a bit if you really tried. And you've also got to ask yourself, would you share your chocolate? Imagine you had one bar of chocolate left in the world. <gasps> would you share it? And who would you share it with? Would you share it with your friends? Would you share it with your families? Well, well, these are the questions that everybody asks in my story, The Great Chocolate Plot. Now, as a result of writing a story about chocolate, I always like to make sure I've got a bit of chocolate 
nearby. I like to have a, some it's a big bar of chocolate there. Eh? Oh yes, that might be my dinner for later on, I think. Yeah, yes, a bit of chocolate. But you know, sometimes that's a bit too much chocolate, isn't it? Sometimes a little bit of chocolate is just right. It makes you enjoy chocolate that little bit more. Just having a little bit. Okay. So, so yes, yeah, so I just wanted to say hello in these tough times because I know it has been tough for everybody across the world, isn't it? Um, schools, you know, you probably be in and out of school a little bit. Schools are probably a little bit different at the moment. Masks and keeping distance from everybody, probably doing things online and all those things. But hopefully, it does seem as if we are coming a little bit out of that, you know. And then, and hopefully, in a few months' time, things will start getting a bit more back to normal. But this is a perfect opportunity to maybe read that little bit more because reading always takes you on different adventures it takes you to places far off places maybe far off places like london in england or for me far off places like abu dhabi i would love to go to a place like that it sounds very very wonderful um but books can take you to all kinds of places and you sh share your experiences of reading books tell your friends what books you've been reading and see if you could get them to read those books as well because it's a great to always find new books find new authors and find lots and lots of different new stories so i hope you will take these opportunities to enjoy some reading and enjoy finding new stories okay so look after each other you know always do what mrs costello tells you to do ah uh, i am sure you already do that anyway um but don't give her too much of your chocolate i've heard she likes chocolate so um yes it's nice to share chocolate but keep a little bit for yourself okay so until you know things start getting a bit better keep on reading Keep on enjoying yourself and keep on having a little bit of chocolate now and again. So look after each other and take care. Bye now.